everyone, welcome to Kawaii Collectible Dolls. This video is a follow-up from a previous one I did on this doll called Clementine. She is one of the dolls from A Girl for All Times. Uh, I unboxed her and I showed her in this little cute little outfit here. Um, I'm trying a different setup today with the video. Usually I'm, I'm over by the window, but it is super bright outside and so it's really got some weird lighting going on. So we're trying this instead. Um, so anyway, this is the doll. If you hadn't seen the video, I have her in at least one or two videos at this point. We'll put her over here. And I bought her as part of a collection and it included some clothing, the outfit she has on. And of course she came with a different outfit too. But she also had this party dress and this, um, this little accessory kit here and this adorable beret and coat. So, I figured let's go ahead and open these up. She wants to get dressed up, so I thought we better open these up and put something fancy on her. So these are tied in there. Okay, so there's little ties back here. Okay, so I used my little handy dandy uh, Swiss Army knife off camera and cut some of the threads that hold all this together. Here are her shoes. Oh, those are cute. All right, let me see. Okay, see, those might be a little tricky to get on. All right, in fact, I'm not gonna pull that all the way. So there's just little holes there with the ribbon. Cute. Alrighty, there's some kind of boa in here, and what is that? Okay, I'm just going to have to destroy this little box. There we go. Now, we're, oh, okay, so this must be, must go in her hair. Is there a clip or anything? Oh, there's a little tie here. Huh. I guess I'll have to go find some pictures. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it goes on her wrists or... I don't know. I guess we'll find out. It's kind of unusual. <laughs> I could probably get it to go on her head. All right, and then this is a Luffy boa. Oh man. Okay, I didn't trim that hole up there. Whoop. There we go. Okay, so clearly this goes around her neck. Some kind of plastic thingy in there. Hmm. I'm not gonna mess with it. I don't want it falling apart. I guess does it bend? I think there's a little wire or something in it. Okay. And it just says Clementine on the box, a girl for all time. Um it's got their address. I will have to find pictures to see exactly how this the accessories, other than the shoes, obviously, are supposed to go. Alrighty. And let us look at the party dress now. Let me put this over here. This is really pretty. It's tool. Clementine party dress with petticoat. It also is stitched in there. Okay, I'm gonna do dandy little scissors.
Yes, this is very delicate fabric. So I want to be extra, extra careful. I don't want to rip it. There we go. It's coming right out. Oh, that's not. be careful with that. I did not want to cut that tool accidentally. Oh, it's very thick. Oh yeah, so she's, oh, so there's two pieces. So we've got a separate petticoat and then one, uh, a slip, another one sewn in and snaps. Yay, snaps. Yeah, because, oh, if this was Velcro, holy cow, this would be a nightmare. Very nicely made, finished edges. Whew, I can't wait to get that on her. Okay, alrighty, and let's go ahead and get the, the coat. It is cooled down here in Florida to uh, 80 degrees. <laughs> Though actually yesterday it was in the 60s for a little while, so that was kind of amazing. I don't know if she'll ever need a wool coat down here, but so that's the nice thing about a doll. You can always put her in just about anything you want, no matter how hot or cold. beautiful button. Oh, it's rose and um, looks like it's resin. Very, very detailed. Oh, the coat is lined. Oh, is that a little string? And there's a snap. So it's like a faux button. Lined. Beautiful. Very, I mean, this is a this is a hefty piece. This is quite thick and beautifully made. Very nice stitching. They even lined the collar. Wow. Yeah, beautiful. And this cute little beret. Okay, I'm going to change her clothes. We'll be right back. Okay, I have her party dress on her. Uh, her new shoes and her coat and beret and as you can see um, that coat is <laughs> she looks preggers <laughs> but that's because there is a huge petticoat underneath that dress so in fact probably I could take the petticoat off and it wouldn't look like this but um, yeah what I'm gonna do next is put on uh, take the coat off and the beret and put on uh, this little party accessories here. I looked it up. This is supposed to be a hair accessory where I, I tie this around like a hairband kind of thing. So um, that should be <laughs> that should be challenging but we'll see. Maybe it won't be as hard as I think. Um, the shoes were very actually pretty easy to get on and I could see they're once they're on they're they're really on so that's nice. Um, but yeah I'm gonna inch up a little closer here. I'm gonna tripod in here a little bit. This is just because she's she's got this petticoat. Oh, and I put her her undies back on her, but this petticoat. I guess let me see. Let me see how hard it is to take it off. Okay, here she is. I took the petticoat off this here. Um, there's also one sewn inside inside the dress. So a huge difference. If you're going to have her wear the party dress and the coat, I recommend taking this off. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm going to break here, put the petticoat back on, and somehow figure out how to get this thing on her head. 
and this around her shoulders and we will be back and see how she looks and if she's ready to go party. Okay, so she has her hairdo party thing on, whatever you want to call that, and her uh, little stole, I guess, poofy thing around her neck. Um, it's cute. Um, I don't know about if I like this thing that much around. I, I actually liked it when I first saw it, but then now that I have it, I don't know. I don't know. Something to style, style her with, I guess, but... Um, the dress is really just so pretty, it doesn't really need anything. It's almost like too much, I think. Um, but the little hair ornament, it is very cute. It's kind of a, you know, not surprising, kind of a pain to get in. But it's in there, it's not coming out. So, um, yeah, so I like it. Let me see if I can zero in a little bit here. Nope. There we go. Yes. Cute. Cute. So now um, she's dressed up nice and fancy. I'm going to, um, yeah, probably put her with another doll. And I'm going to see, I'm trying to figure out a way to get them in my curio. But these big dolls, <laughs> they're challenging. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys for hanging out while we looked at um, Clementine's new clothing. And uh, changed her clothes. And... Now she's all ready to go party. Have a wonderful dolly day. As always, I appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription and a comment or two. Bye-bye. Right, Clementine and Matilda are dressed and ready to go party. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to go with them or not. I hope so. I wouldn't mind going to a party right now. But they look so cute together. Different time periods. We have the Tudor time period and 1940s, but I'm just going to go with it.